it your own way. I'm taking videos, yeah, fuck. <laughs> Okay, so I tried to break this song up into six essential parts. The order that they're played in changes throughout the song, but I'm not going to be talking about it in a linear way. I'm just going to show you how to play each part, and then when you're practicing and jamming along with the song, you'll know how to play it. I don't usually learn things by tab. Uh, I pretty much try to listen to it and then come up with my own way of playing it, and that's kind of how I'm going to teach it as well. All right, so the intro, it's played on the bottom four strings, or the high uh, D, G, B, E strings. There's not much weight to it, so I like to play this song with my loop pedal because then I can add a bass line. So you're gonna do like an A minor formation. So you're gonna do it up here, starting on the 11th fret. So that would be middle finger, 11th fret, D string, ring finger, 11th fret, G string, and index finger, 10th fret, B string, and then open E. So you're gonna pluck those three strings, and then you're gonna slide this finger down to the ninth fret of the B string, and you're gonna pluck that note and the open E. Twice. And then a hammer on pull off. And then this little motion. Starting on the 11th fret of the G string, and then down to the 9th, and then the 12th fret of the D string, and then 11, 9. So the whole thing. And then the second time, right at this part, it goes, which is just a hammer on pull off. And then 10th fret of the G string, 9th, back up to the 10th, and then the 9th fret of the B string. So that whole segment should sound sort of like this. And then repeat, and then you're just going to slide that exact formation down to the 6th fret. Your middle finger should be on the 6th fret. And it's the exact same picking pattern. Alright, so that's the first of the 6 parts. The next part is the verse, which I kind of play in my own way. is with your index finger on the ninth fret of the A string, your pinky finger on the 11th fret of the G string, and then your middle finger on the ninth fret of the B string. Okay, so you're gonna play that chord and occasionally you're gonna slide your middle finger up one fret. So it's like a minor bar chord. Okay, so you're gonna go and then on the upstroke, you're going to slide your finger up one fret. And again, you might find a more comfortable way to play this. This is just kind of how I play it. And you're going to ring out the high E string halfway through like this. that exact same thing down here on the fourth fret. Let the high E ring out. And then you're going to slide up to the seventh fret and you're going to do an open E, seventh fret A string, pinky finger ninth fret G string, and then you're going to put your middle finger down on the 7th fret of the B string and, and an open E. There's no slide up in this one, you just go. So that whole part. Alright, 
That's the second part. Third part is the bridge. So that's an open D, middle finger, seventh fret, G string, index finger, sixth fret, B string, and then open E. And you're gonna play them in this order, open D, and then the seventh fret underneath it, and then back to the open D, and then open high E, and then 6th fret B string, and then 7th fret, and then open again. So. And now your right hand is going to be doing the same thing, just starting on the string above, on the open A. And you're going to put your ring finger on the 7th fret of the D string, and your index finger on the 5th fret of the G string and then you're gonna include the open B. Now you're gonna do a minor bar chord formation, starting with your index finger on the fourth fret of the A string, and then just like a power chord, ring finger, sixth fret, D string, pinky finger, sixth fret, G string. And you're gonna put your middle finger down on the uh, fifth fret of the B string, and open E. You're gonna play each one of those strings individually, going from top to bottom and then back up. Only when you come back up, just don't end on this note. So like this. And then you're gonna slide down one fret with your index finger starting on the third fret. So that whole part goes like this. That's the bridge, or at least what I'm calling the bridge. Next is the chorus. Okay, so that's just sort of like an open power chord starting on the open, it's not the E string, but again, that's just what I'm calling it. Open E, index finger, seventh fret, A string, and then you can use your ring finger or your middle finger, whatever's comfortable. I like to use my middle finger. So middle finger, ring finger, whatever, on the ninth fret of the D string. And then you're gonna stretch your pinky finger to the 12th fret of the G string. And you're gonna slide it down to the 11th fret. And then you're gonna put your ring finger down on the ninth fret of the G string. <laughs> then you're just going to do that slide again and then the power chord starting on the fourth fret of the A string slide it down one fret and then slide it all the way up to the tenth fret 10 12 then start again That's the chorus. Open, and then second fret of the A string, and then open D, and then back to the second fret A. So that's. Then you're gonna pluck the open G string you're gonna put your ring finger or pinky finger down on the fourth fret of the D string. So. And then the last two notes, second fret, A string, and then open G. So the whole thing very slowly is like this. slide up to the fourth fret of the A string in this typical minor bar chord formation but with an open E string 
and then you're just going to pick all these notes from top to bottom and then you're going to take your pinky finger and put it on the seventh fret of the d string and pull off and then put it back down underneath the ring finger and then start again those two parts together sound like this. And that's how the, uh, I guess what I'm calling the second bridge goes. Finally, I will show you the sixth part of this song, which is just that really cool, sparkly, progressive sounding thing that goes like this. So, back to the very first chord of the song. So you're going to pluck those first three notes. And then you're going to slide down to the ninth fret of the B string. And you're going to pluck that and the open E. And then put your ring finger down on the eleventh fret of the G string. So. And then you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to slide up to the 14th fret. Exact same thing you just did here, but slide up with your middle finger on the 14th fret of the D string. And then you're going to do the exact same thing on the 6th fret of the D string. And then you're just going to slide up to the 7th fret of the D string and you're going to put your middle finger there and your ring finger underneath it on the 7th fret of the G string and your index finger on the 5th fret of the B string and an open E. So you're going to pluck these two notes first and then these two notes at the same time. So. And then you're going to do that exact same thing, just two frets up. So the whole thing slowly. So that's it, I think. Uh, those are the six parts other than the guitar solo. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you again next time.